Airflow is an open source platform for developing, scheduling, and monitoring batch-oriented workflows. Since Airflow pipelines are written in Python, this allows us to dynamically generate them. The Airflow user interface provides in-depth views of pipelines and tasks, including ability to view logs and status of each task. At the heart of an Airflow pipeline, we have tasks and operators. Related and dependent tasks form a DAG or Airflow pipeline. A task is a single unit of work, and an operator is a template for that single unit of work. Using one or multiple operators, we can define a single task. Airflow supports multiple built-in operators, such as Bash, Python, and Email Operator. Additionally, there are hundreds of community-provided operators, such as AWS, HTTP, Redis, etc. Airflow provides a Docker Compose file to quickly start all the Airflow services on our local machine. We can download this Docker Compose file and get started. We have created a custom Airflow Docker image here which allows us to install different Python packages and operators as needed. This new custom image is referenced inside the Docker Compose file. The Docker Compose file expects us to create two important directories. First, the DAGs directory, where we will write our pipelines, and second, the logs directory which will contain all the logs. Let's take a quick look at the pipeline we are developing here. In the first step of the pipeline, we will retrieve user details from a third-party API. For this task, we will use an HTTP operator. This task will send these user details using XCOM to the next task, which will calculate the age of user based on their birth date. For this, we will use an inbuilt Python operator. So far, all user details are in JSON format. We will send this JSON to the next task using XCOM. The following task will convert users from JSON format to CSV format. This task will send this CSV data to the next bash operator task. This task will simply log the CSV content to the terminal. Finally, using an S3 operator, we will upload this CSV content to an S3 bucket. Inside the DAGs directory, we have created a simple ETL Python script. First, we import all the required operators into our script. Next, we import the necessary Python packages, such as pandas. Here, we define our DAG with the schedule set to none, because we will be triggering this DAG manually. First, we need the HTTP operator to retrieve user details from the user's endpoint. All the authentication details and host details are included inside the Airflow user interface. Note this connection ID here. We are using the same connection inside our code. This operator will automatically push user details to XCOM so we can pull it in the next task. Secondly, we have the process data operator task. For this, we will utilize the Python operator. Here, we have defined a Python function to process users and calculate their ages based on their birth dates. We retrieve user details from XCOM and proceed to process them. Thirdly, we have a Python operator tasked with converting users from JSON to CSV format. This conversion function leverages the pandas package to convert JSON to CSV. Fourthly, we have a bash operator which simply logs the CSV content to the terminal using the echo command. And finally, fifth, we have the S3 operator, which uploads CSV content as a file to an S3 bucket. The AWS credentials are stored using the Airflow UI and referenced inside the code using a connection ID. So far, all these operators are dependent on XCOM, but there is no specified execution order between them. Finally, we will establish this order as the last step. Let's initiate our Airflow services using the Docker Compose up command. This will start Airflow in the background and also launch the Airflow UI on port. We will log into the Airflow UI using the default username and password. We can observe numerous examples of DAGs within the dashboard. Here, we have our ETL pipeline. Upon clicking on a DAG, we can view a well-structured directed acyclic graph featuring all five operators. We can trigger this DAG using the trigger DAG action, which will initiate the DAG sequentially. At each step, we can monitor the status logs and XCOM generated by the particular step. Inside the Logs tab, 
we can access all the logs generated by that specific step. Within the XCOM, we can examine all the data produced by the step. Ideally, this data should be stored in Redis using the Redis operator with the Redis key stored within XCOM. However, for simplicity, we have omitted this step. The XCOM of the first task contains JSON retrieved from the API. The XCOM of the second task contains calculated age for each user. The XCOM of the third task contains CSV content. Inside the fourth and fifth tasks, we refer to the same XCOM value set by the third task to print it on the terminal and upload it to the S3 bucket, respectively. We can confirm the successful completion of our end-to-end -end pipeline by inspecting the logs of the S3 operator. Here, we can observe that using AWS credentials, a CSV file was uploaded to the S3 bucket. I have included a link to the source code in the description below. In the next video, we will demonstrate how to set up a Spark cluster using Docker and how to write and submit a Spark job. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Thank you.